All right, welcome back to KM6 LYW Radio, the show about amateur radio or ham radio with an emphasis on digital or data modes, trying to reimagine ham radio in the information age. Um, Today is a great example. We are going to use software-defined radios. These are cheap little radios you can buy and put in your computer. Anyone can use them, and you can listen to broad portions of, uh, of the radio spectrum. We're going to do that today, this time on KM6 LYW Radio. Yeah. Yeah. I, I don't know when to end the bumper music. You, I, that's probably a repeat. God. That was a good one from the 90s. I think I do a lot of 90s music. All right, software-defined radio. Let's talk about it real quick. They're, these things are cheap. They're really cool. This is one on Amazon. It's an RTL SDR. This is the one that kind of started it all, this little silver stick. You can get this for $34. Boy, it was a lot cheaper. Inflation. Um, there's another one. New Elect makes. There's a lot of knockoffs on these, but these are called RTL SDRs. Uh, they're USB dongles. You can plug them into your computer. Um, you need software to drive them. There's two that I wanted to exemplify today. We've got SDR++, which is what we are looking at right here. Pretty cool piece of software. It's kind of new. Um, I kind of put it on the shelf for a while while it was undergoing a lot of heavy development. And then the, the other, and I think it's stable now. So I'm, I've been using this lately. It's, it's not perfect. Um, none of these are perfect, but the, the other one is GQRX. You're going to want to check that one out as well. So I can just stop this, close that, and fire up GQRX. And uh, it's very similar. Um, it has a waterfall. You can select the frequencies you want. Play it on here. Uh, so well, remarkably similar, more. right? In fact, I'm also turn this down. Um, we actually got a re re repeater that this is tracking right now. The W6EK repeater's on. You can see that here the signal here in the waterfall. You can see these are all real similar. They all have a lot of the same features. So this is GQRX. Uh, let me go back. I want to emphasize SDR++ because that's the new one, and I want that I want to, I want to play with here. So let's go back to SDR++ to install it. Um, you go out to it's on GitHub, and they have nightly builds. It has it for Raspberry Pi or any any Linux system. So if you have a Raspberry Pi, uh, both of these I should say uh, work on Linux and Raspberry Pis, GQRX and SDR++. SDR++ has the added benefit of running on just about every operating system. Uh, so you can see. There's a Windows port, uh, Debian, uh, uh, the, the ARM architecture one. Is, this is the one for Raspberry Pi here, the Raspberry Pi OS version. So SDR++. So let's get back. Let's, let's say, uh, let's press play. That gets things started here. You can see we got the, the VHF spectrum at 145 megahertz. Let me make sure I'm, I'm small and you, I'm not overlapping this. Um, we've got a gain setting here we can mess with. You know, it really changes the amount of gain. We've got a zoom feature over here that's pretty cool. We'll see what's going on. I can select W6EK signal and I'm going to zoom in on that. And you can totally see the signal. That's kind of cool to visualize it. And we can listen to it also, obviously. Um, I got it on mute right now. This is what it sounds like. Just a few days away is the first. Cool. And we've got a squelch down here somewhere. In fact, uh, if I can get the Zoom stuff working. And this is these are some of the features. These are kind of, it's kind of a plug-in architecture. So we've got the source, radio information, all of the modes you can possibly think of. This is a squelch setting. You want to stay on that. It'd be nice if there's like a bigger squelch knob somewhere. I'm always going to that. We've got frequency bookmarks. Um, a lot of cool stuff in the left with <clears throat> window pane here. Uh, we're not going to go through all of it. And it's plug-in oriented, so you don't have to understand all of it. But, the, but I think the, the important things are here by default. So that's, this is how I have mine set up. In fact, I didn't need to configure it at all. I just plugged in this RTL SDR dongle, well, the silver one, and this just started working. Uh, so both of these are really cool, and both of them have one fatal flaw, and I wanted to, to address that. You know, I was thinking, um, you know, when you listen to a repeater, let me let me turn on the audio here, and you can listen to this for a sec. Uh, maybe you uh, want a uh, gift certificate to, for a CCW. You guys hear what I'm what I'm hearing? You hear that tone? A certificate for that. We have. Uh, it's awful. I mean, it's it's louder than than the guy's voice. That's Brian, by the way. Um, it's the PL tone comes through on these, and there's no way to filter out the PL tone. So if you're listening to radio repeaters like on VHF or UHF, you're trying to listen to the conversation, and all you hear is the the tone. A stickers for your right. And I, you know, I actually went out to the GitHub repositories on these. You know, you can leave feedbacks, uh, feature requests. I went to GQRX. Hmm, you know, no one's really interested in making a filter or a plugin for this. 
went out to SDR++. Again, no one's really interested in making a filter for this. So I, I just kind of went out of my way to figure this out. And I wanted to share that with you guys today so you can listen to repeaters on SDR radios. Until now, I just I couldn't use this to listen to a repeater. So there is a command that will filter out that, S, that, the, that tone. Let me make this really big here so you can actually read it. I will put it in the comments. Um, this command, eh, I'm not going to zoom. I'm going to zoom in the font here. See if this helps. <laughs> All right, so what this, this command does, it basically takes audio from the network from one of these SDR pieces of software and then runs it through a high pass filter at about 300 hertz. So it drops off that PL tone. We really don't need to hear the PL tone, but a lot of Peter repeaters repeat it um, to help keep radios from keying up on interference. That PL tone is needed to key up the repeater. It's kind of like the, the repeater password. And every amateur radio that exists filters out that PL tone because you know it's just used for access control. You don't want to hear that. Um, but every SDR program or software that I found doesn't do that. So this bit of software will read audio from the network port that these things provide audio on and then run it through a, you don't need to know all of these command line options here, but ultimately it'll run it through about a, a 300 hertz filter. So let's, let's see what the difference is. So what we want to do on SDR play First of all, I'm going to run this thing. All right, it is running this little command that I showed you guys. Let me make sure it's all the way on the screen there. And then what I want you to do on SDR++ is uh, I'm going to zoom in on part of this menu. And I want you to go over to a section called sinks, not kitchen sink. Well, I guess like kitchen sink. And over here, you're going to see something called audio. All right, I want you to change change this from audio to network. And this is gonna send the audio out the network port and our little filter command that we just started running is going to listen to that, play back the audio it hears and get rid of that PL tone. So it makes it just so we can listen to it. All right, so PL tone is set to, or the audio output is set to network. And I'm gonna unmute this. N6 CKV. Kilo six, Tango India. No you guys record. hear the PL tone? I don't. So our little command's working. It's filtering out the PL tone. In fact, they're doing uh, check-ins right now. Of course, you know, the one time <laughs> I'm doing the demonstration, well, that was light. we're doing check-ins. That check was refreshing. Uh, <laughs> no PL tone. Up. Good morning, so let's Pete. change it back to audio so you can kind of, we can kind of A-B this, morning, all right? Carl, I'm going to switch it back over here. Did I miss anyone? I'm going to change the sync over to audio. It's on network right now. All right, good morning, Carl, in six, CKB. Back to audio. Did not wash away. This is good. Uh, Wilton, of course, uh, in the floodplain. That's awful. So let's take it back to network. Everyone else out there. Yeah, the rain wasn't as heavy as they expected. They released the... Isn't uh, that the way to go? So anyways, this is a PL tone remover script. Or script. This just uses the SOX command. And, and uh, you can hook it up to GQRX so or SDR++ yes. plus plus, so uh, to do. Um, this is it running here. A, and again, I, I will put this command in the notes. That's all you got to do to filter out PL tones for these cool SDR um, bits of software. I was, uh, um, let's for GQRX... For GQ, sorry, that is loud. For GQRX, um, let me make this, I'm just gonna stop this. I'm gonna run GQRX here. There's one thing you gotta do in GQRX to enable that network audio, and that's to click on the, uh, let me turn this on. I'm gonna stop my, restart my filter. And I am going to go down here to where it says UDP. This is all zoomed in. So you can see that PL tone here in this on the audio. I don't know. Can you see these little spikes here in the center? That's the PL tone. It's just obnoxious. Now I want you to click on UDP down here. Let me zoom in on this. Here it says UDP. Let's click on UDP. Sure. And, uh, and now it's yeah, sending we audio to the network another, port, which our little filter command is listening to. And we don't hear the PL tone. APRS to work. So, yeah, saw quite a few call signs I right? recognize. Isn't that totally cool? So anyways... We can totally do repeater work on a software-defined radio and not listen to the PL tone. All right, so guys, hopefully this isn't, this isn't obnoxiously loud. I just wanted to share how to use an SDR real quick. Um, you know, there's a lot of cool facts out there. And, and really, the emphasis here was to, to get rid of that PL tone so we can start using SDR software with our cool, cheap SDR dongles and not have to listen to PL tone. So... Uh, Patrons of the channel, I got to thank you guys. You guys make this happen. Um, so everyone who contributes anything to the channel gets access to the Digipi. That's digipi.org. This is a Raspberry Pi SD card image that gives you 
access to every data mode there is on amateur radio. And all you, all you need to do to use it with is just your, your tablet here or Android or Wi-Fi device or iOS. So it's a DigiPi SD card image. You put in a Raspberry Pi a lot like this one and hook it up to your radio. So patrons of the channel, thank you so much, guys. I really appreciate it. Uh, I think this is an order with those of you who have supported me the longest. And wow, I, I just can't thank you enough. So Fu, Steve, Mark, Ryan, Jake, Brian, Christopher, Ian, uh, Jim, Brad, Michael, Robert, Kevin, Kevin, two Kevins in a row, Buddy Brown, thank you, Simon, William, Scott, Jeff, Harold. Thank you guys so much. Um, so I know you guys are sending your pictures of your DigiPies, and there are hundreds of them out there. We've got a Discord channel. It's at digipie.org if you want more information. Um, what else can I say? I, I just can't thank you guys enough. I mean, I'm looking at the line counter. We're over 200, 230. That means we've got hundreds of DigiPies out there in the wild. So everyone, you know, there's no excuse not to operate data modes on amateur radio. We we're really trying to make data modes accessible uh, for, for ham radio. So guys, thank you so much. I wish, really wish I could read all these names. 96%. We just keep flowing through these. Thank you, guys. I appreciate it so much. So, hey, my name is Craig. I'm in cool California. Uh, this has been another KM6 LYW radio production, and I am clear. <laughs>